Today on our 2017 Toyota Sienna, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118648. So here's what our wiring looks like when it's installed. We're going to have a four pole flat trailer connector and it's going to give us all our required lights to go down the road, such as our turn signals, stop lights, and clearance lights. And the built in dust cover we can use it to actually secure our wiring to our hitch that way it'll be ready right here whenever we're ready to tow now that we know what it looks like when it's all finished up and installed let's show you how we got it there to begin our installation we're going to open up our rear hatch so we can gain access to the tail lights now each tail light is going to have two fasteners holding it in place now i'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove those We're going to go ahead and repeat that on the other side as well. Now when we go to remove our tail light, we're going to want to grab it as firmly as we can and pull straight back. You don't want to go too much side to side because there are some pins that are holding it in place. So if you can, you can grab the plastic edge towards the center, get your hand behind it and pull straight back. Now we're going to have two connectors inside of here and each one's going to have a small tab on top. So we're going to want to push in on that tab and we should be able to slide the connector out. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that same thing on the passenger side as well. Now per the instructions, they are going to have you pull up a lot of panels on the interior of our vehicle, but we found an easier way to get our wiring installed. Now per the instructions, the wiring would stay on the inside of the vehicle, but we're actually going to be mounting our wiring to our hitch on the outside. So I'm going to start on the passenger side and I'm going to take a piece of airline tube that I had laying around and you can use whatever you have available, even a coat hanger will work, but I'm going to take it and go in between my bumper here and the body and I'm going to feed this down until it comes out the bottom underneath my car. So where my airline came out at the bottom of my bumper, I'm going to take my green wire with the two connectors and my red and brown wire with the two connectors. I'm going to take a little bit of electrical tape and I'm going to tape it to the end of my airline tube. Now we can go ahead and grab the other side of the airline tube and start pulling it up. I'm going to take a little bit of patience and help guiding it up. With our connectors up top, I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape in the airline tube. We'll notice that the connectors are going to look very similar to the ones on our vehicle. And we're going to want to plug in the female into the male end and the male into the female end. Now we're going to have a four and a three prong socket plug and you're going to want to make sure you plug them into the corresponding ones. Now coming out of our converter box we should have a white wire with a ring terminal attached and that's going to be for our ground. Now they do provide us with a self-tapping screw. We're going to take that self-tapping screw and secure it to the floor. Now we're also going to have a black wire coming off our converter box and this is going to need to be ran up to our battery. Now they do provide us with a length of wire that we can attach to it. So I'm going to take a butt connector and they do provide us some in our kit, but I'm going to be replacing this with a heat shrink butt connector. That way there's just a little bit more protection against moisture buildup and corrosion. So on the end of my wire, it's already pre-stripped. So I'm going to insert it into my butt connector and crimp it down. Now I can take the length of wire that they provide us in our kit and I'm going to strip back one end of it. I want to go ahead and put it into the other end of my buck connector and crimp it down. Now I'm going to be using a heat gun to shrink down my connector. I just want to mention you want to be careful not to char the wire or the connector itself. Now we're going to find a spot to mount our converter box and they do provide us with some double sided foam tape so we can stick it to a flat surface. So I think I'm going to mount mine up here underneath the fascia behind the wheel well so it's up and out of the way. So I'm going to take a rag with just a little bit of cleaner, make sure the surface that I'm going to put it on is nice and clean. Then I can take my double sided tape, I'm going to take the backing off, I'm going to stick it to the back of my converter box, I'm going to push firmly to make sure it sticks. Then I can take the other piece of the backing off. We're going to reach up and press it against the side of the body firmly, making sure that it sticks. Now we are going to have to get our four pole wiring, our yellow wire, and our black charge wire over to the driver's side. 
So again, I'm gonna take a piece of airline tube and I'm actually gonna come in right here where I'm gonna mount my wiring and I'm gonna run it behind this panel. I'm gonna go behind underneath the panel and come across until it comes out the other end. I'm gonna take the end of all three of my wires and I'm gonna attach it to my airline tube. So I'm gonna take a little bit of electrical tape and secure it. Now we can go ahead and start pulling it through, help guiding it up behind the hitch and above that panel. Now since my four pole needs to come out right here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my wires through and let them come down. And then I'll let my four pole hang right here. So I'm gonna take the tape off and pull all the excess wiring out from my four pole and then I can continue to work the yellow and black wire over to the driver's side. Now we're in the driver's side, the very edge of our bumper, we're gonna have two fasteners holding that panel up. And I'm just gonna remove these two just so we have a little bit of flex to gain access to the driver's area over here. Now I'm gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket to remove these bolts. So we're gonna actually take the panel, and we're just gonna pull it down slightly so we can get our wires tucked behind there. And again, we're only gonna be moving the yellow and black wire over all the way to the left. The four pole is gonna stay in the center of the vehicle where the hitch is. And then we can put the panel back in place. Now over here on the side, we can go ahead and pull this section down just a little bit as well. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the passenger side with bringing an airline tube so we can get our yellow wire up to our tail light. Now our charge wire I mentioned before, we are gonna to have to run it up to the battery. Now everybody's gonna do this a little bit differently, but I just wanna mention you wanna stay away from any heat sources like the exhaust or any moving parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and run my wire and I'll show you how I routed it. So I ran my power wire underneath the cover, came out, went up and over my muffler and my rear axle here, and I followed down along my fuel tank, along the outside edge of the frame rail, coming out right here, going underneath this cover right here, and finally coming out right behind the engine. Now we're gonna need to run this wire up to the battery, so let's go ahead and go up top and I'll show you how we're gonna get it there. I'm gonna take a piece of airline tube again, and I'm gonna route it down through the engine compartment till I can meet up with that black wire underneath. Now let's go back down underneath and attach our wire. I'm gonna take my wire, I'm actually gonna insert it into my airline tube and then just put a small bit of electrical tape so I don't have to worry about it falling out. Now we can head back up and start pulling it up. Now when you pull your, your wire up, you wanna make sure that you pull all the slack out and it's always a good idea to double check by going underneath and make sure it didn't get wadded up because that could cause potential problems later on down the road. I'm gonna zip tie my wire to some existing factory lines right here, just so I don't have to worry about it falling back down and help keep it secure. I'm gonna go ahead and strip back the end of our black wire. And we're gonna take another one of our yellow heat shrink buck connectors and crimp it into place. Now our wiring kit is fuse protected, so they provided us with a fuse holder and it's one big loop, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it straight in half, and I'm gonna strip back both ends. Now on one of the ends, I'm gonna put it in the buck connector that we just applied to the black wire. And on the other end, we're gonna take the provided ring terminal, slip it on and crimp it into place. Now we're gonna attach our ring terminal to the positive post of our battery. So we're gonna need to remove this nut right here I'm going to be using a 12 millimeter socket to remove it. So once we have the nut removed, we can take our ring terminal, slide it over the post, and then reinstall the nut. Finally, we can put our 15 amp fuse in place, put our dust cover on, and we can start to tidy up any wires that we may have left loose. Go ahead and plug our lights into our tail lights. Line up our tail lights and put them back in place. Now the last thing we're gonna to need to do is to test our wiring. 
So I have my four pole tester here. And if you need to pick one of these up, you can pick one up on our website using part number I26. I want to grab an extra set of hands so they can run my lights and I can verify that everything's working properly. You turn on the headlights, please. Looks good. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. The brakes. And finally, the brakes and both turn signals, please. Looks like everything's good and we're ready to hit the road. And then I'll finish up our look at the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118648 on our 2017 Toyota Sienna. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.